All right, greetings family. We are back and we're here to talk about traveling and tours. This is Bomani Tamba live on Revolutionary Camp at Bomani Technology. And I'm here with my wonderful sister, Sonika. All right, uh, so my sister, uh, you ready to show that tour book of yours again? Uh, I, gotta, I gotta interrupt you because you see how he introduced me, ladies. It is Sonika Arrington, the positivity queen. And before we get oh, started, Mr. Yeah. Bomani, I just had to, you know, Lift up the so vibration. Nika, the positive queen. We had to lift up the vibration. So you got the incense going and everything Absolutely. right there. Absolutely, got to get thanks to the ancestors for always just bringing about great connections and positivity. So how are you today? You good? You ready? Absolutely, I'm doing well. Got my wine right here. Yes, Feeling nice. Too. Let's As we're gonna toast. toast to the two classic world travelers. You know, we're doing some good business here at Bomani Technology. As you can see in the background, you have the world map. Uh, you see the, the red, black, green, and gold back there, the Ghana, Sankofa, and also the Jinami. So return to your roots and the power of our ancestor and creator. Uh, so family, and then you have the Garvey Town, where you yeah. see, the, you know, it, you, can, you probably can't really see it too good because it's uh, black and white and laminated. But uh, you can definitely go to our website, Africa, for the Africans.org, and check out uh, any of our tours or any of our information that we talk about today. Uh, so my sister, yes, yes, uh, <laughs> you came true with you know, all kind of goodies and everything. I did. Uh, and that is a well-rounded travel tour book itself. Yes, it's so, called Travel Light, Travel Right. So we're going to, folks, a nice close-up. So they're going to be buying this book from you on Amazon, right? Absolutely. Amazon.com or you can go to Seneca360.com. And that's Seneca the Positivity Queen. Yes. <laughs> positive vibration and energy. Absolutely. <laughs> so how positive are you when you travel to all these countries and you have to deal with drama? <laughs> well, um, one of the things that I've learned throughout my travels is to and see... Yes, we got to give proper toast. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay, one more. One more? That's another toast to the good times. Because that's right, we didn't toast up on the first one. We didn't swallow. <laughs> all right. There we go. We're sipping on some, you know... White Ziffendale. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, perfect. So, so uh, what inspired you to write this beautiful travel book as we talk about travel and tours? Well, uh, what really inspired me to write this book because I'm always traveling and people, I found that a lot of people have been asking me my advice on the places I've been to mm -hmm. or... Uh, what did I like most about something and then I find that people will ask about it, but they won't actually take action So this book is written to allow people that never take action that people who may travel once a year And then people that travel all the time to get the best experience whenever you choose to travel Perfect. That's awesome. Uh, so you mentioned um, you've been to 44 countries, yes, and is that across five or six continents? All oh, six continents. That's what's up. So now, you know, South well, America... I haven't get to Antarctica as yet, but that's to come. Yeah, we're talking about the six <laughs> traveling uh, uh, continent. But you can go uh, to so, Antarctica as well. So let's, let's pick one continent, okay. South America. You know, the only place I've been to in South America uh, was Brazil. You know, I've been to both Rio de Janeiro mm -hmm. and Salvador, uh, and it was you know, a great experience. Okay. Um, what parts of uh, South America have you been well, to? I'm going to say what I love. I'm going to stick to the, the most beautiful part about South Africa that I experienced. Oh, was talking about South Peru. America. I mean South America, <laughs> forgive me. That's the water ready. But South America was Peru. I mean, when I love because I love to eat. I love dishes and I love shopping. And Peru, we went, I can't think of the name of the restaurant. Forgive me. Coastal something is the name of the restaurant. Have the best... I mean, I love rice and the seafood, but it was like this little Peruvian woman about this tall in the kitchen cooking. Like, the food was just mm, delicious. That is what's up. So delicious. the black presence in Peru was, was dominant? Absolutely. Because it was definitely Well, Brazil. I won't say it's dominant. Because at, at first when I got there, I didn't see, I was looking for myself. I'm looking for somebody melanated. I'm uh -huh. like, how many people are we going to see? And at first I did not see at all that many really dark skinned or melanated people. But even though I didn't see him, I didn't feel no type of way. The energy felt great. People were still invited and connecting. And um, when we went shopping to the Blue Market, that's when you went into 
the melanated. You run into everybody, really, but it was at the blue market, and we purchased some some beats, the Canon cameras. Everything was like really cheap, half price. Oh, cool, for real. Yeah. Yes. We got the Rosetta Stone for like five bucks. And, you know, it was really nice. Yeah, so, so you speak Spanish? Cause I'm sure you've been to other no, South speak American Spanish. countries. No, I don't speak Spanish. Piquito. <laughs> you probably been to you probably been to like Colombia. No, yeah. I didn't go to Colombia. I did go to all oh, the Spanish speaking countries. We went to Belize. We went to um, Panama. We went to um, give me a country. Uh, Dominican Republic. I went to the Dominican so Republic. Um, where else? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. We Puerto went to Costa Rico. Rica. No, I went to San Juan. We were right in Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So we've been to some of the same places. I've, you know, I haven't been to that much. I've only been to one country in South America, and that's mm -hmm. just Brazil. And mm -hmm. for me, that's good enough for me. That's okay. We hit the spot. My, <laughs> yeah, that, that gave me a six uh, continent and uh, about 33 countries. Okay. Um, and, what about in Europe? Uh, in Europe. <laughs> I've been to England a lot of times because I have family in England, but I'm protesting going to England because... It's just you said you protest. I'm protesting going there because you know to me it's like I've I've got family all over the world and it's like I'm always going to see my family. Mm -hmm. and at one point they thought I was rich because I work for the airlines. I was like, see, I don't work for the airlines anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you still traveling? Yeah, I was just telling them that it's just not about being rich. It's about just you know you organizing your money, making sacrifices, and making travel Absolutely. a priority. So you can see your friends, see your family, learn about different culture. You can become more, you know, of a person mm -hmm. from that experience. And then from people like myself, we make a lot of money from travel, from tours, from mm -hmm. investment, from doing consultation and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you, it's rare to find people that have certain level of experience, mm -hmm. especially in, in Africa. But as far as uh, Europe, my favorite place in Europe is, will always be Amsterdam. No, that's my favorite <laughs> place. I say that all the time. Quick day trip, quick weekend getaway. <laughs> Amsterdam has that. If I had to yeah. move to any country in Europe, I'm going. I'm yeah. staying. You go find me in Amsterdam. And uh, you know, I've never been to. I, I flew into France, uh, but that's mm -hmm. that was more than enough. And I, it just, just you know. But the good thing the I like energy. about France is this. You know, it's just a lot of brothers and sisters. But mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm just but you never find to speak French. Yeah, I'm just never fine. I've been to uh, French countries like um, uh, Togo, Benin. Um, okay. Senegal was probably That's my cool. favorite in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, Fr French colony or former French colony. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm um, just not a fan of European places. But you know, you, you go and try to experience things. You know, I, I enjoy my time in different Asian, Asian countries when I was in the Navy because you know, you're just out with your friends, your co workers, and mm -hmm. you're out just partying and mm -hmm. just having a good time. Uh, but you know, as an you know, as an you know, adult into this, you know, running your business, uh, that's the nine countries of Africa is just the highlight for me. It's um, I mean, I've been along to different parts of the Americas, the islands, to you know, Central America, and those are closest as it get, you know, to Africa because I mean, you know, you see your people, you see mm -hmm. the culture. It's just like you know, you go to somewhere like Dominican Republic. No matter how much they be front and talk about, they they're not, they're not black, black. they're African. I'm and they like, talking than you and me here, nappier, or well, more natural than you and me. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. But I always see us wherever I go. Um, only place I didn't really see us a lot uh, outside of the, the guys in the Navy that um, I worked with uh, was in the Asian countries. Uh, but you know, uh, you it's, know, we're it's sprouting out a lot now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're they're there, you know, because you know, at one point, you know, you know, doing, you know, in the fifties, in the sixties, and oh, so that's on. Before my time. You know, well, you know, you just, you know, you had. The, the first set of brothers going to these countries and mm -hmm. some of them you know when you deal with America you may just say hey I'm not going back mm -hmm. and I don't think some of them went back some of them stayed and they they changed they the dominance love. of the population mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah so but uh, as I said we say all that family to talk about uh, Europe Asia uh, and the Americas to you know talk about you know I compare all those experiences and my travel experience has been phenomenal but nothing beats just going to Africa just Absolutely. the last 14 straight years. Ugh. And I mean, you're talking about the food, the people, the Ooh. culture. And you know, the during, during, the times, during the times when I was you know, a single brother, the, the women. <laughs> 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 just fun, exciting, cool. Just, I just love the energy. And ultimately, I just love uh, the family orientation, orientation and the family systems in countries like Ghana. Mm -hmm. And just... The peace and the safety of just walking around this mm -hmm. any African country from Senegal country, to Gambia yeah, to yeah, Ghana. Yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. there walking by myself yeah. with other people late at night. Uh, just number love and things. It's just you know it's and that's the biggest misconception. Like when I went, you know, when I went, I've never <laughs> been terrified or feel scared in Africa. But when you go to South America and Central America, because you do, you hear the stories. You hear the stories of things happening to people. But you know. Um, 
I don't feel the same in Ghana. So I tell people that out of all my travel ex experiences, Africa is the safest mm -hmm. in a continent with the safest itself. countries, Absolutely. the most culture, the best itineraries. I mean, some countries you struggle to find things to do, and you know, like when you go to uh, when you go to France and you go to England, they just have these corny sites. <laughs> of this whack-ass European history. <laughs> I did go to the, 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 the British Museum and it just you changed... You stole all your stolen stuff. Man, it changed the way I look at life. <laughs> uh, I shot a nice uh, you know, video in there. You know, I see I go back and look at it. The Africa section was completely on a different side of the building from the Egypt section. Basically telling you black men, women, and children that Africa, Egypt is and not in Africa. You know Africa. what I find out too? When anytime you tell people you went to Egypt, even Africans, <laughs> they even be like, you ain't been home, sister. You haven't been home. I mean, I love Egypt. Yeah, a lot of history. In, yes, uh, yeah, but history anytime phenomenal. you tell another African, oh yeah, you, I, I've been to Egypt, they'd be like, no, you've never been to Africa. <laughs> yeah, if you've only been to Egypt, yeah, it's one yeah. of those things that people like myself would even say that. Well, next time you, 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 next time you go back to the African continent, go to, go to something more upbeat, updated, and you relevant. See, you, yeah. Even though yeah. Egypt, but hands down, was my top one of my top dream trips. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you see what you know our ancestors did, and then mm -hmm. the thing that really just you know, that really just you see that other people claiming what your ancestors did, so you just realize that man, we just have to be a powerful people yeah, to where someone are. else literally want to write their name mm -hmm. on the work of our ancestors, wow. you know. But uh, nevertheless, you no, know, we know the Arabs are running things over there, so family, don't try to pop up the revolution. You know, we want to make sure you come back safe. So when you go to Egypt. Be careful, absolutely. You, you know. When you go anywhere you know, on the planet, <laughs> just be careful. Because I, I personally didn't feel that. I think a lot of it is the media that tells you, oh, be careful. They tell you be careful to go to, when you go to Nigeria. Oh, you're going to Nigeria? Oh, be careful. I'm in oh, New I, York. I've never been, no, yeah, been, that, been to Nigeria. Yeah, they'll tell you that. That's Nigeria was safe for you? You, you enjoy that, Nigeria? That's home. That's where my, my that, mother's side of the family is. That's what's up. She's she rocking the Nigeria color also. Rock, rock on. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm repping him today. You see that? So come, come get some. But yes, I mean, well, I think I think part of my travels is um, I always say just focus on the positive. I know the negative things can happen, right. and you have to you know be aware of your surroundings. But don't go in focused on all oh, negative shit happening. No, you know, because anything you could be in your house and somebody could break in. It doesn't matter where you go; anything can happen in a negative way, or things could jump off. But I'm in my New York state of mind no matter where I go on this planet and I'm going to be true to me and mix and mingle with the natives and get it in and have fun and that's what I love about traveling. Absolutely family, so that's what we do family, there's a whole lot of connection Absolutely. and link with traveling and uh, you've been to how many African countries that we start okay, so talking more about my, African my connection? First, well it's in the book, you gotta read the book. So family, um, I would, I'll tell you my top five. Um, was my first experience, my very first international trip was to South Africa, Johannesburg. And I thought I loved Africa when I fell in love. When I, I thought when I first went to South Africa, I fell in love with Africa even more. But when I went to Ghana, uh, and Ghana brought it home for you. <laughs> oh my god, you have to come to Ghana. Like I love Nigeria. I love Dakar. When I first went to Dakar, I was chasing um searching for and my family, that's uh, that's in Dakar is in Senegal. In Senegal. Um and I got off the plane and I saw the people and I kept talking to the women and I kept talking to the brothers and I was I was telling my friend, I was like, I'm not from here. She said, why you say that? I said, because everybody's so tall. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, but we had a great time, a great time in the car. But it's I, my favorite country is Ghana, hands down, hands down, out of all of them that I've been to. Yeah, I love it. The energy is like, like Nigeria would be New York to the 10th power. It's too much going on, too aggressive, too, too much. You want to... You might lose you some know. people. You bring yeah, them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if, when you go to Ghana, it feels more like Washington, D.C. or Atlanta, more laid back. You know, you have fun. Like, you have fun in Niger, too. Don't get it twisted. And, you know, but it's just, the energy is just like, yeah. I love it. It's, the people are amazing. The food is good. The music is awesome. The land, the energy is like, it's really truly greatness. It feels like gold. Like, if you had a place to say what gold feels like, come to Ghana. I said, family, come to Ghana. And this was our last tour book, family. Right there, November 16 to the 26, 2018. And we'll be back in Ghana for a few different tours this year. And right now, what you can see on the website is May and December, but we will also 
working on a sequence with our sister here for October with her and her crew because you now that's what we do. We manage and organize things for our folks to make it easier to connect to the African content, to live, do business, mm -hmm. investment, all those wonderful things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm truly grateful for this moment. Thank you. And you guys come in October, save the date. It's going to be Columbus weekend. It's the year of the return. And she had a fancy <laughs> journey putting you up in six star hotels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rock and own. <laughs> That's what new moment pick is, right? It's a six star Absolutely. hotel, right? Don't tell them the hotel you though. You got to give them something to think about. It's all about giving them value for this investment. You must come to Ghana. I don't care what anyone's body tells you, whether you come with me or not. But listen, if you want to come with greatness, you have to come with us. The Positivity Queen, we're taking you to Ghana. This is the year. Get your pass. Passport, get your visa, go to www.senika360.com. Go to Amazon to get my book, and I also have calendars. All right, guys, rock on. Show it. Let's prop it up so you can see it. Got my calendars. This you gotta this show. One. You gotta show them what's okay. in, the, in, in the calendar. This one is for the men. Well, some sisters to it. You might, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so family, uh, you know. This is for the brothers, like our sister said. <laughs> Truth, nice and thick, real, all natural sisters. <laughs> See? Thank you. <laughs> that's what's up. That, that's what's up. Uh, hopefully nobody's driving while they're watching that. <laughs> this is my favorite, this one. Okay, but that's that. You, show, you showed all the goodies. So you, you don't be playing, you, you, you go out there on the beach yes, and you just throw the bikini on and you be yes, chilling. <laughs> yes, you gotta be true to you, you gotta love yourself sister. You don't love yourself, forget it. Forget about it, stay home. So you, yeah. know, I Go noticed, VIP or go stay I, home. I noticed something, you love beaches, you know? Oh, that's my, that's my life. I noticed a lot of know? photos on beaches. Yes, you just lay on the beach and earn money. Be beaches and gardens. Connect people, places and things, <laughs> lay on the beach and earn money. Let's do it, let's live life, be true to yourself. I'm going to I'm gonna end up drinking some of your, your wine. <laughs> Here we go. Take it my last toast. See, wow, you drank. I didn't even drink any. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is uh, my first uh, meditation of the day. Uh, but, uh, yes, family, that's what we do. Uh, tours and investment. Connect with us on different tours. Uh, we are going to South Africa in November. Mm. So, Johannesburg, uh, five days, three days in Cape Town. So, all the things that you want to do in South Africa is on that itinerary. So, you know, you try to give people more bang for their bucks. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? Bring them value and greatness. And, and so, lots of fun. And only us can do it. You know what I mean, if you want a real black African experience, you got to roll with, you know, your folks. <laughs> your peoples, that's right. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Stay ready. So, anything else you want to share about any other wonderful countries you've been at, you know, even if it's <coughs> outside of Africa? Like the highlights? Like, uh, Thailand. Like Thailand. I'll tell you one thing. I love getting spas. I love sailing. I love laying on the beach. My third love is or shopping too but I love spas if you are ever in Thailand don't even don't even pack any clothes lady just <laughs> take an empty clothes. suitcase empty I'm serious you can take an empty Are you going suitcase skinny dipping or something? <laughs> and when you go especially if one of those little small sisters I mean it's so I don't want to say cheap but it's so cheap like you, you, got, you don't even need to if you you don't hey. even need to pack. You just get get on a plane, buy your ticket, go to Thailand. You gonna oh, come back so with a suitcase full. With oh, stuff. that's what's up. So they got all the knockoffs there. You can knock it off. You can do whatever <laughs> you can knock want. It off. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, they're gonna have all every it's type. A knock of knockoff. It's one of those knock, the knockoff capitals. Every type of knockoff <laughs> you want, but if you like to shop, that's hey. one one point that I love. You, you but know, my main know. point. <laughs> Besides the temples, that's my main point is the temples, but I'm bringing it back to relaxation. They have the best spas on the planet Earth. It's in Thailand. When I tell you, they get every nook and cranny, every roll, every inch, every... You wake up... If you don't wake up with slob on your mouth, then you wasn't in Thailand. <laughs> that's how relaxed you, you... I mean, and it was like 20 bucks for... And I paid... Like hundred and fifty dollars, you know, like. And the, you pay the American prices. Oh my God! But when I tell you, if you want the best spa, you you tense, you will feel so reset. So I love you, Thailand, just for the spas and the women and the people that's giving spas and all that energy. <laughs> Blessings to you. And it has the most magnificent uh, Buddhas. If you're into Buddha, all the statues are there. You see a lot of mermaid statues too. I found that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
but I didn't like the water. The water was too uh, too too brown and black. I didn't. Yeah, you're gonna deal with you know that's one thing about the Asian countries. You're gonna deal with a little yeah. pollution. You're gonna deal with a little terrible air. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't so. I didn't go swimming, but I did do jet skiing. You go jet skiing. I think it was maybe twenty five bucks for an cool. hour. It was really nice. You can do all that, but if you're on the beaches, you know, you know don't so get you, in the water. You may still have to go back. To, you may still have to go to Jamaica and go to some of our beautiful Absolutely. Caribbean islands. Absolutely. Uh, and if you want the culture and you want, you know, literally this certain environment, African content, but you know, um, other parts of the world have a lot to offer. But I've been definitely trying to uh, encourage more of my brothers and sisters to, to you know, to think more of coming to, to Africa. And, you know, because whenever they, they brag about France and England and all that stuff, I was like, I've been to them places. I, what, you know, what was the magnificence about it? What did you do? You know, it's nothing. They just somewhere else where it's just you know, just they another, ate some food it's not and a, some another place full of white people. That's they ate right. some food and wine. Yeah. But I, I will say this: it's nothing like Africa. And don't nothing. even take our word for it. Just get your passport, your visa, and go. Write it down and go. Like, don't even worry about all that other European nothing, nothing. Listen, you haven't lived if your if your feet and your soul have not been in Africa. Don't leave this planet without putting your feet back in the motherland. That's my gift to you. Absolutely, family. So that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, connect with us and we will connect you to the continent of an incredible experience. So basically what I'm telling people, uh, to sum it up, I'm telling you to bypass going to all them other places, especially Europe. Now, just, you ain't missing just, nothing. Just focus on Africa. You didn't have to yeah. tell them that. As a matter of fact. energy out to there. Just say. Yeah, yeah focus just, on the motherland. Uh, you know, I'll get you to, you know, you can connect and you can hang out in Amsterdam Airport for a few hours. And then we'll get you to the motherland. And if you really need to go out and hang out like we've done in the past. We'll hang out, you know, get your nice little meditation and come back and <laughs> <laughs> we head to the motherland. Yes, where greatness is filled and you're going to just relax and enjoy life and have fun and mix and meet with your sisters and your brothers. And and I, this is one thing people say that I know is true and you will, you will say the same thing. Hit me back if you don't do this when you go to Africa. Before you leave, you're going to see somebody that looks like somebody back home. Is that true? Absolutely. That's always going to be the case. Um... And that shows you how much you are connected. Yes. And uh, so everything uh, that's meaningful that will connect you, um, that experience is on the African continent. Um, when you go to other places like you know, Europe, um, uh, or I should say England, and places like that where I have family, it, it begins to be fun because you know we can go out to the reggae clubs and go out to socialize and party. We just we just create our own world. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what makes just like in America. In America, works with people like myself because you live in your own world where you can deal with certain things. But ultimately. You got to go to the motherland. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Black country, black people, Absolutely. black power. You see you in power. <laughs> Word. I remember going to Nigeria. Kings, queens. And uh, I came through customs. And to see that role reverse play, it was like mind-blowing. I was like, wow, I'm in Africa. To actually see, it was yeah. this big, tall, black man. He had the gun. You're coming through customs. And then it was this European, Caucasian man. He came up to him and... The, the the brother didn't talk to him. The the brother talked at him like, give me this and do this. And then he was like, you know, like it was like unbelievable. Like to see the authority, to see yourself, to you know, you're in your own skin, in in control of your own life, your own destiny. Like to just see you, and you can take and do whatever you want in Africa. The sky's the limits. You know, you're dealing with you yourself. Just come on. Absolutely, family. So we'll keep it strong and we'll keep you posted on the journey to the motherland. Uh, just click in the description box and look in the comments and you'll find all of our information and you can just reach out and link with us. So we'll close our toast. Close um, our toast. Yours is empty. Mine is still full. Bam! <laughs> I just was a little thirsty. <laughs> a lot more thirsty, I should say. Come on home, people. Let's right, get so it. See you in the motherland, family. Absolutely. Is this it? The Black Star. Ashay. Yeah. Symbol of, you know, That's from uh, the Independence Square. Absolutely, and the oh, symbol of you know, Marcus exactly. Garvey and the connection of you know, Marcus Garvey and uh, Kwame Nkrumah, the connection of Pan Africanism. You know, it's a per you know, so it's Ghana a make it that perfect marriage. The ancestors so, waking up. We talk about a lot of country, Ooh. but Ghana is still that country family. Join us on the journeys of a lifetime to the motherland.